So the research in this white paper shows that Oticon Real outperforms three competitors in wind noise, specifically in terms of comfort and speech clarity. It's really impressive. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you went about measuring this? Yes, so the thing about wind is that it's unpredictable and the turbulence that it creates around the hearing aid microphones is even more unpredictable. So you need some controlled conditions to get uh, reliable measurement results. Uh, so we used a wind generator that could produce uh, a steady and laminar wind flow uh, and different wind speeds in a controlled way. And we placed it in, a, in a, an acoustically treated uh, sound studio. And we pointed it towards uh, the hearing aid that was placed on the ears of a head and torso simulator. Uh, and uh, this mannequin was wearing two hearing aids, so we could also benefit from having potentially the binaural features activated in the devices. And we adjusted the all hearing aids, so Oticon Real and the three uh, competitor hearing aids, to the default prescribed setting. But importantly, the wind noise management features were always set to the maximum setting uh, available. And then we simply recorded the output of the hearing aid where we played wind, and we also had a loudspeaker in the room that could produce speech to test uh, speech and wind. And why did you choose to measure it in this way? It sounds very technical. So the, the nice thing about doing it in, in this controlled way is that you can use these output recordings from the hearing aids and feed them to uh, uh, scientifically validated models that have become standard for loudness estimation and from uh, the prediction of speech intelligibility. So that also could give us an idea of the perception of, uh, of users in these uh, situations. Yeah, so we're able to know the technical measures themselves, the physical measures, but also relate them to real life users through these predictive models. That's right. Okay, brilliant. So how can we relate these methods to real life situations for hearing aid users? Was there anything we took into account in the design to make it more realistic? Mm -hmm. So of course you need to make considerations from where you play the wind and how, how fast and so on. So we had uh, the wind coming from the front, which is the most commonly encountered situation. Also, this is what produces the worst wind noise in the, in the hearing aids. Uh, we also used wind speeds between five and nine meters per second, which are uh, very commonly found as average wind speeds around the world. So you could call them moderate to stronger uh, wind speeds. Okay, so we can be really confident then that our Oticon Real users out in the real world are experiencing the benefits that we've measured in the lab situation. Yes, because we tested a range of, of, of these speeds. Yeah, and we know that Oticon Real outperformed the competitors in terms of comfort and clarity in these, in these research studies that you performed. Absolutely. Brilliant. Thank you so much. This has been very interesting. You're welcome.